Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to make a huge snowman drawing. What you will be needing is a white piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and something to trace your drawing with. I'm going to use some markers today to trace my picture. We're also going to need something to color with. I have some crayons, but you can use whatever you have at home to color if you want to use markers, colored pencils, or anything else. Now we got a lot of snow recently, so some of you might even have went outside and made a snowman, but today we're going to draw a huge snowman that takes up most of our page. Now our snowman is going to be wearing a hat and a scarf, so we're actually going to start with our pencil at the top of our page drawing a rectangle to start as our snowman's hat. Now we want this nice and close to the top of our page, but we can leave a little bit of space there, but we're going to make a huge snowman, so we want plenty of space at the bottom. I'm going to add a stripe on my hat by just making another little rectangle, and then I'm going to make a super long rectangle down at the bottom for the brim of my hat, that edge that goes all the way around. And we're using simple shapes to make our snowman, so these are all shapes that we already know how to draw. We just used three rectangles to make our snowman's hat. The next thing I'm going to do is do two big ovals as my snowman's eyes. I'm leaving a little bit of space in between my snowman's eyes and his hat, but I just drew those ovals right underneath. Our snowman is going to have a big carrot nose, so from the center I'm going to draw a straight line going down, and then I'm going to make a triangle by having two more lines come out and meet at a point. My snowman is going to have a big smile made out of little rocks, so I'm going to draw some repeating circles to give my snowman a nice big smile. I can add an eyeball inside of my snowman's eyes, and I'm going to add a half circle in the corner as a little highlight in the eyeball, and I can color the rest of that in with my pencil because we're going to color that in black later. Now I'm going to draw my snowman's scarf. So right underneath the mouth, I'm going to do a big smile-shaped curve, and I'm going to bring two straight lines down, and we're going to turn this into a scarf by just connecting that. Now my snowman needs a nice round head, so from the hat I'm going to make a big curve coming down to the top of my scarf. And I'm going to do that on both sides. And from the bottom of my scarf I'm going to give it a little tail by having two lines coming out, closing it off kind of like a rectangle. You can add some extra little lines on the end if you would like. You can also decorate your scarf. I think I want my scarf to have stripes, so I'm going to make some repeating lines going up and down around the neck, and then I'm going to have them going side to side on the tail. Now our snowman needs a nice big body, and we have all the rest of our space on our page to make our snowman's body. Now you can have two sections or two circles as your snowman's body, or you can do one giant body. I think I'm going to do two. So I'm going to make one big round oval that came from the bottom of my scarf all the way up to the tail. And then on the rest of my page, I'm going to add the biggest part of the body coming down and curving all the way around. I'm going to give my snowman some nice big buttons. So again, repeating those circles like we did for the mouth, just down the stomach. And I'm going to give my snowman some arms. I want mine to be waving. So from the center piece, I'm going to do two straight lines going up, I'm going to close those off so they kind of look like a twig or a tree branch. I'm going to add little versions of that same little rectangle shape coming out as my snowman's hand. And then on this side, I'm just going to have his arm coming down towards the bottom. And that is my snowman all finished. Now that I'm done drawing my snowman, I can add any other kinds of decorations I would like. I think I'm going to add some lumpy snow in the background to show where he's standing. I'm going to put a sun in the sky. 
with some clouds and maybe I'll draw some snowflakes once I start to color it in. And if you want to draw some other animals or people in the background, maybe you want to draw yourself building your giant snowman, just make sure you make yourself nice and tiny so that your snowman looks extra, extra big, just like the one in the story we read. I'm going to leave mine the way that it is since I don't have a lot of room left on my paper. And I'm going to grab my black marker to trace my snowman. You can use whatever color you would like to trace your picture today. And you can also use whatever colors you would like to color it in. Now, whatever you're going to use to trace, you're just going to go right on top of those pencil lines that we drew nice and carefully. If you miss some of your pencil lines like I did up there, don't worry about it because we're going to erase our pencil lines after we finish tracing with our marker. After I finished tracing my marker, I went in with my eraser like I said I was going to do before just to erase any of those pencil lines I could still see before I start to color. Now you can decide if you want to color in your picture using crayons, colored pencils, or markers. If you have anything else at home and you like to paint your snowman or use other materials, you can do that as well. Now that I finished tracing and I erased, I'm going to use my crayons to color in some of my bigger spaces, and I'm going to use my markers to color in some of my smaller areas. Now, since my snowman is made out of snow, it's mostly white, I'm first going to take a light blue crayon and just give my snowman a little bit of a shadow all the way along the left side. So with my crayon, I picked light blue, and I'm just coloring nice and gently along the left side of my snowman. You can do it along the right side. You can pick which side you want it. I'm just coming out a little bit from the side into the space that my snowman exists. I'm just coming out a little bit from that outline and following that shape to make it like a blue outline that's a little bit thicker. And this gives our snowman a nice little shadow so it looks a little bit more interesting than just being totally white. I'm going to bring my blue along the bottom a little bit and that will be good. Now I'm just going to go in with my markers and do my smaller details like my buttons, my scarf, my mouth, and my hat, and then I'll use my crayons to do all of the larger spaces left on my picture. And that is my snowman all finished. I used my markers to color in my details like the buttons, the scarf, the face, and the hat. And then I used my crayons to fill in the details in the background. I added some snowflakes with my crayons, I colored in the sky, and I colored in the ground. When I was coloring, I made sure to fill in all of the white space besides my snowman's body and try to stay inside the lines and color nice and neatly. Once you're done, you can upload a photo or video of your snowman on my canvas page. I can't wait to see all the different snowmen you have made. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. I'll see you soon. Bye!